Okay, this is where the rubber meets the road. We're about to see the all-new S60 T6 all-wheel drive in action and hear about what our professional drivers, Davy Jones and Verena May, think about the way it handles. We're also going to show you how it stacks up to the competition by comparing it to the Audi A4 Premium Plus with Quattro all-wheel drive, the BMW 328i xDrive, the BMW 335i xDrive, and the Lexus IS350. But before we hop on board, we know there are a few other competitors in the market. So we're going to do a quick review of each of these before we hit the track. Let's meet the key competitors for the all-new S60 T6 all-wheel drive. While these will vary from market to market, we believe we've covered the big names here. We'll be taking a closer look at the Acura TLSH all-wheel drive, Audi A4 Premium Plus with Quattro all-wheel drive, BMW 328i xDrive, BMW 335i xDrive, Infiniti G37X, Lexus IS350, and Mercedes-Benz C350. Be sure to check our need-to-know product resource for detailed comparisons on all of these models. There are some key advantages that the all-new S60 T6 all-wheel drive has over all or most of these competitors. In many cases, our features are standard when they're pricey upgrades on competitive models. In the driving dynamics category, our advantages commonly include advanced stability control, a new steering gear that is specifically designed for improved response. It's 10% faster than any Volvo model ever. Optional 4C active chassis is only available on the Mercedes-Benz C350 with a pricey package. In the innovative technology area, our advantages typically include world-first available pedestrian detection with full auto brake, city safety, a world first for Volvo that comes standard. HD radio that's standard. It's not even available on any competitor except the BMW. Sirius satellite radio that's standard with a complimentary six-month subscription. That's twice as long as any competitive offering. Multi-Q technology by Odyssey on our available premium sound system. It's only available as a factory installed option on one other car in the world. And that's the Jaguar XJ. Of course, whiplash protection seating system, which helps lessen or prevent whiplash type injuries and rear impacts. Seat belt pretensioners are on all five seating positions, not just the front. Available lane departure warning. Available adaptive cruise control with Q Assist. Some competitors offer ACC as part of a package, but no one offers the Q Assist enhancement. Available blind spot information system. And no competitive comparison would be complete without talking about the Volvo Safe and Secure program. With five years or 60,000 miles of warranty, factory scheduled maintenance and wear and tear coverage, plus five years unlimited mileage of roadside assistance coverage, the Safe and Secure coverage plan allows Volvo owners to pay nothing to repair or maintain their Volvo for five years. No one in the competitive class can match that. In model year 2009, Acura introduced the TLSH all-wheel drive. The SH stands for super handling and offers the promise that it will perform like a sports sedan. It has sportier styling and more power. However, the new design is significantly larger than other cars in the segment. While this model has a slight advantage in horsepower, the all-new S60 T6 has a tremendous advantage when it comes to torque. The all-new S60 T6 has a 6-speed Geartronic automatic transmission versus a 5-speed on the Acura TL. Even with the longer length, the all-new S60 T6 has more rear headroom. The S60 T6 is also lighter by about 60 pounds. Edmunds.com criticized the TL for its polarizing styling. Edmunds.com also criticized the numb steering. And just look at all those buttons on the driver interface. We should mention that their larger full-color display is only available with the technology package, while the Volvo Census with a 7-inch high-resolution color monitor is standard on the S60. While Acura makes strong technology claims, they're really talking about infotainment, 
not safety or driver support. They don't have features like lane departure warning, blind spot information system, collision warning with full auto brake, and more. And let's not forget Volvo's safe and secure coverage plan, which offers the most comprehensive coverage in the industry. You may be wondering why we're comparing the incredible all-new S60 T6 all-wheel drive to the A4 2.0, which has a four-cylinder engine. The fact is that Audi doesn't have a six-cylinder model in this competitive range. To get a six-cylinder, you have to go to the much higher-priced S4 model. On a base price level, the A4 Premium Plus Quattro Automatic is over $37,000, which is comparable to the all-new S60. As you'll see on the track in the driving segment later in this topic, the S60 T6 crushes the Audi A4 in horsepower and torque. The S60 comes standard with 18-inch wheels that give it a sportier look and superior drive. And last but not least, we have Volvo's safe and secure coverage plan, which offers the best-in-class coverage in the industry. Let's move into the comparison. Volvo's unique leather sport seats come standard, unlike on the Audi A4. Audi drivers used to have difficulty with the optional multimedia interface's complicated menus. And while the redesign helped slightly, it can't compete with the incredibly intuitive design of the Volvo Census. Despite a shorter overall footprint, we have more interior room, a larger cabin, because we use our space efficiently. The all-new S60 T6 has nearly an inch more rear shoulder room than the Audi A4. The 3 Series is the best-selling model from BMW. The good news is there is no new 3 Series model expected until model year 2012, which gives the all-new Volvo S60 time to take the lead. The S60 T6 is about 4 inches longer and 2 inches wider than the 328i xDrive. The S60 T6 is also about 2.5 inches taller. Compared to the 328, the S60 T6 has about 30% more horsepower and much greater torque, even at lower RPMs. The S60 T6 comes standard with a 6-speed automatic transmission with Geartronic, while customers have to upgrade to an optional Steptronic for the 328. It comes standard with a 6-speed manual transmission. The S60 T6 has a dynamic chassis, as well as 18-inch wheels standard, compared to the 328, which has just 16-inch wheels. Incredible leather sports seats are standard on the S60 T6, but if you want sports seats on the 328i, you have to order the expensive sport package. Bluetooth and satellite radio are both standard on the S60, but they're pricey options on the 328. The BMW iDrive interface is optional with the navigation system. It uses a single dial to control all of the car's interior electronics, from navigation to climate control. Many users find it complicated and awkward to operate. Compare that to the Volvo Census that's extremely intuitive and fully integrated, and we have redundant controls on the center control panel and the thumb scroll wheel, so drivers can use whatever they're more comfortable with. The 3 Series is the best-selling model from BMW, so we've included two comparisons for this competitive set, the 328i xDrive and the 335i xDrive. While the all-new Volvo S60 T6 has approximately the same horsepower, it actually makes more torque. And the most striking advantage we have in this comparison is the price. On a base price, the 335i xDrive is nearly $5,000 more than the Volvo S60. The S60 T6 has a dynamic chassis as well as 18-inch wheels standard, compared to the 335, which has just 17-inch wheels. Incredible leather sport seats are standard on the S60 T6, but if you want leather sport seats on the 335i, you have to order the expensive sport package. Bluetooth and satellite radio are both standard on the S60, but they're pricey options on the 335. The BMW iDrive interface is optional with the navigation system. It uses a single dial to control all of the car's interior electronics, from navigation to
to climate control. Many users find it complicated and awkward to operate. Compare that to the Volvo Census that's extremely intuitive and fully integrated. And we have redundant controls on the center control panel and the thumb scroll wheel, so drivers can use whatever their